is the biggest game changer to my skincare routine this year. I will never, ever, ever stop talking about this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a roundup of the best of skincare of 2023! Yeah! I know, I'm very excited and it's very stressful to think about what to include in this video because I tend to be a little bit more biased towards the products that I've used more recently. So that's why I do try to make it a point to collect all of my empties from the whole year and I look through my entire empties pile to see what are some of the products that I would still put in this video. So this is going to be a very long video. You're in for a ride. Let's get started. I'm going to start according to how I usually do my entire skincare routine which is to remove makeup first. So first product I want to talk about is Pharmacy Clearly Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is an all-rounder best cleansing balm I've ever used so far and this is definitely the best of 2023 because I ran out of two bottles of this. It doesn't strip my skin off of its moisture, it melts makeup, it just makes the entire cleansing routine so much more comfortable and enjoyable. Micellar water, definitely Bioderma. This is the original Sensi Bio H2O. I like to use it for my entire face, especially when I wear eyelash extensions because this doesn't contain any oil and you guys know if you put any oil in your extensions, they are gonna fall off. It also does not irritate my skin, doesn't make it more dry, doesn't sensitize it even more. I've got two cleansing oils here. The first one is the Shu Uemura Sublime Beauty Cleansing Oil, which is an OG. But this benefits pore professional get unblocked pore clearing makeup removing cleansing oil. This one really took me by surprise this year. I have not stopped using this because it smells so good and it lathers, emulsifies so well. It gets rid of the toughest mascaras as well. Between these two, I would say this if you have slightly more dry skin, but this if you want a double acting like pore cleansing and makeup removing cleansers. The first one is an all-rounder, definitely my favorite, favorite, favorite of 2023. It's the SkinCeutical Simply Clean Gel. It has sulfonic acid that stimulates enzymatic exfoliation. So don't let its name fool you, it's actually really nice and gentle on the skin but it provides extra exfoliation every single day. So even if you have sensitive skin, this is not going to strip you dry. I also like how I need a tiny little bit and it lathers really well. Another one that I want to give a special shout out is the Lab by Blondu's Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Foam Cleanser. This is so affordable and a little bit just lathers up like super thick and dense and once again, it doesn't strip you off of too much moisture. You guys know I've got very, very dry skin so this is great and I like to go in with the entire Oligo Hyaluronic Acid range from this brand after that. Got a shout out on my favourite exfoliator. This one has been in my favourites of the year for like... I don't know. The Skin Ink Pure Revival Peel. This is a gigantic size because the founder herself, Sabrina, very kindly gifted this to me, which is only available in the Skin Ink salons because I just run out of it so quickly. And this is great even if you have eczema prone skin. Like, trust me, guys, go and get this one. I know it's super pricey, but if you are someone that suffers from sensitive skin and you want to exfoliate your skin once in a while, Go for something like this because it's so gentle. It gives you that eraser-like kind of peel and your skin just feels so smooth and bright and skincare sits so much better on it and in your skin after using this. So I try to use this about once in one or two weeks. Next up, toners! You guys know I love my toners because I love to do the wet compress method. Basically, I use toner and I layer it up either multiple times, one after another, or I soak my favourite cotton pads and leave it on for about 5-10 to 10 minutes. And doing this actually really is the biggest game changer to my skincare routine this year. You guys need to try it. But of course, make sure you're using a good toner that wouldn't irritate your skin and also making use 
of good quality cotton sheets and cotton pads that aren't sensitizing your skin or drinking out all of the products. So, first one. The Led by Blanc Dues Oligo Hyaluronic Acid 5000 DA Toner. This is, hands down, the best and the most used toner the entire year. So it's great for hydration. It's very affordable. This is the 500ml one, so it's huge. I love to use it with wet compress because I find that it doesn't evaporate so quickly and it's light enough for my skin to absorb everything and it goes deep down inside because the hyaluronic acid is actually 200 times smaller than the traditional hyaluronic acid. I recommend this to people with sensitive skin, dry skin, all skin types, honestly, even oily skin. Now, this is Doctop's Peptide Biome Antioxidant Vegan Toner. I have an empty over here. This is a really, really good dupe, if not better, product compared to the Laneige Cream Skin, which I used to love a lot. Um, this one is a lot lighter than Laneige Cream Skin. That is why I like it because I feel that it absorbs so well into the skin. It's so fine. The quality is so good. It uses Peptide 8 Complex and Biome 3 Complex, which are great for brightening and plumping fine lines and wrinkles. So I recommend this if you're looking for an anti-aging toner. Lastly, if you have blemish issues, breakouts, pore issues, or if you need retexturizing your skin, I recommend the Caudalie Vino Pure. I do get acne sometimes. Um, and using this, because it contains salicylic acid, it helps to kill the acne-causing bacteria, it helps to calm down the redness, bring down the inflammation. So it is very potent. I wouldn't recommend using this toner to do wet compress because your skin is going to be dry AF if you do that. But if you have dry skin and you need a toner that helps to control the sebum every single day, go in with this one. Essences. I've got two over here. The first one is SK2 Facial Treatment Essence. You guys know I will never, ever, ever stop talking about this. So this is something that has stood the test of time for me. Um, I highly recommend it. Keeps my skin clear, bright, bouncy, and it's very easy to incorporate into the skin because it just absorbs so quickly. Another one that a lot of people like to compare it to and ask me which is better is the Shiseido Oidamin Activating Essence. This one has the Active Rate technology. This is a reformulated bottle. I also really love the old formulation, just that this one is slightly more viscous and more hydrating. This is an empty bottle. I wish I could show you the difference in the textures, but I finished this already. So I do interchange them and sometimes if I want brighter results. I use them both together. This one first, followed by this. Both of them do fairly similar things. Um, it helps to brighten the skin, give you gentle exfoliation, speed up the cell renewal. She said the oidamine actually also contains a little bit of alcohol, so those of you with very sensitive skin, you can take note of that. Serums! I'm going to get my hydrating serum out of the way. The Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Hydro Serum from The Led by Blanc Do is the top this year because it is so lightweight. It feels just like water, but it goes very deep into the skin and the price is very pocket friendly. So even if you have oily skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, aged skin, anything, you want to use a hydrating product. This is a pretty good all-rounder and it checks off all of the boxes for me. Now for anti-aging serums, I've got the Doctop Vecta Biome Antioxidant Saga X Vegan Ampule. So this really helps to save my sensitive skin and it helps to plump up a lot of my necklines. I do realize that my necklines have gotten a lot better. So this one contains Pepta 13 Complex and Biome 3 Complex. It helps to calm the skin brighten and regenerate the skin. So all in all is a lot about rejuvenation, regeneration, um, keeping your skin nice and youthful, erasing your wrinkles and fine lines, and it smells so good. This is something I told the Shiseido team to not make it limited edition because I will cry if I can't get my hands on it anymore. It's the Shiseido Ultimate Future Power Shot. So this is another MT that sadly I ran out of, but it looks like this. You guys know that red bottle, right? Shiseido Altimune, their best-selling product. This one is like a super concentrated version of that. 
So I did not know that. I just used it as if it was like a travel size serum. I didn't know I'm supposed to only use it once a week. I used it every single day and I saw amazing results. Like my skin looks so plump, looks so full, looks so radiant and it's just like so natural. It happened like across two weeks. Brightening serums! So first, I need to talk about the SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic. I always talk about having a vitamin C in your routine and how important it is because vitamin C is antioxidant. This from SkinCeuticals actually contains vitamin C, vitamin E, and ferulic acid. And all these three act so well together to boost the effects of vitamin C being delivered to your skin. I love it. Although the texture can be a bit oily for some, but all you need is just a little bit and just tahan it, you know, just tahan because it's so good. Something that does similar is this SK2 Gen Optics Ultra Aura Essence. This is actually like clarity in a bottle. I have been using it on and off, kind of change out my products. So I definitely put this on about twice a week at least. So this is... Definitely something you should try if you are someone that suffers from a lot of pigmentation like sunspots or dullness in your skin. Next up, I have a Lancome Renergy HCF Triple Serum. So this is for my lazy peeps out there who want one serum that can do everything, most things, at least when it comes to brightening and anti-aging because this one contains hyaluronic acid, C and niacinamide and ferulic acid. So vitamin C and niacinamide and ferulic acid actually helps to brighten the skin and heal skin barrier and hyaluronic acid helps to hydrate the skin. So this is a three in one. As you pump it, you can see that there are three different serums being dispensed all at one go. So the good thing about this is actually the chamber system of the bottle because the effects will not be the same if the active ingredients have already been mixed in. That makes everything kept fresh and potent for as long as possible. So here is my favorite AHA BHA serum. It's the Drunk Elephant TLC from Boost Glycolic Night Serum. For those of you who are asking me what can I use to keep my skin nice and clear, what can clear out my pimples, what can clear out my dark spots, what can retexturize my skin. This one from Drunk Elephant gives me the best results. I know this is super pricey. If you guys find a better alternative that is maybe cheaper, let me know because I am going broke buying this. Then of course, we've got our Skin Ink My Daily Dose Serum Cocktail. Basically, Skin Ink does customizable serums. You guys know I love my Skin Ink serums because they are great for sensitive skin and I can just customize them according to how I want and what I need for that day, right? And this one in particular contains vitamin A, vitamin C and licorice. So this one helps with anti-aging, brightening and plumping up fine lines all in one. Moisturizers. So I talked about the SK2 Skin Power Advanced Cream. You guys, I don't know what it is about this bottle, but I've tried the previous versions of it and I didn't really find that it gave me much of a result. But for this, I saw significant results. It made my skin so like fine and soft and like mochi-like. The texture is also very nice and whipped. It is the fine balance between just being moisturizing enough and thin and light. Next up, the Labs Oligo Hyaluronic Acid Calming Plus Lotion and Calming Plus Cream. So these two are the moisturizers that I use whenever my skin is super dry or sensitive or if I don't want to think about what moisturizer I should use or bring on a trip. It will always be this. I prefer the cream over the lotion because I've got super dry skin, but the lotion is amazing when I do wet compress together with the toner. So highly recommend this. And this one helps to calm down redness, heal your skin, especially on flights and when I'm traveling. This is so good. Night moisturizer or night mask. CG Skin's Dream Capsule. This one, you guys know I talk about this so often. I really love how it feels on my skin. So it's unlike all your other overnight masks, this one is actually really lightweight and it just forms a nice film over your skin and works while you sleep and you wake up to the nicest, softest, um, moisturized face and it's not sticky and it's not greasy. Eye cream. Y'all are gonna hate me for putting this as the only eye cream this year. I also hate myself for loving this so much because this is almost $400. Ugh. 
<laughs> crazy it's a cladipo boutte enhancing eye contour cream supreme i really wish i didn't like it this much but this is the eye cream that really plumps up and erases the fine lines sunscreen for sunscreen i've got two it took me a long time to narrow it down honestly but i know that the drop top um vinifera biome vegan sun cream is definitely gonna be in here this is the best all around sunscreen because it is so lightweight and moisturizing it feels just like a serum it's great for sensitive skin and all skin types especially if you have dry skin just look at how it makes the skin look so nice and it just gives you that glass skin look immediately and because it's got a little bit of physical sunscreen inside it has a bit of a tone up effect but it doesn't use pigments so it's not makeup you don't need to worry about it clogging your pores or anything. I gotta include the Decote Sun Shelter Water Resistant Sunscreen. Both of them are SPF 50 PA4 pluses by the way. This is really good for every day and if you want something very traceless that is not greasy, you can see this one has like a slightly more matte texture. It settles very nicely into the skin and apparently because it's water resistant it's gonna last you for a long time matt uses this a lot um this one if you have a man in your life that doesn't like something that is too difficult to use you want something traceless go for this we are almost at the end i promise beauty tools so you guys know i cannot live without my beauty tools like i use beauty tools every single day the first one i want to shamelessly plug is that letter m's cotton sheets I made these so you guys know I'm gonna be 100% happy and satisfied with it because if not, I wouldn't even put it out in the market to sell it to you guys. It is cotton sheets that are super large that covers your entire face. I love to use it to remove my makeup, apply my toner and do wet compress. You guys can purchase it in the link below if you're interested. My beauty devices. First one, Skin Ink tri -like Device. This is superior when it comes to their LED lights. So you can see there are five different lights and the lights are the strongest I've ever come across out of all of the beauty devices that I own. So I use this whenever I need to do LED light therapy um, and that's why I like to use it for. It's also really small and handy. This is the Yaman Photo Plus Prestige SP. This is super expensive, weighty and large but um, it has the best EMS lifting kind of technology for me. This one also has an added cleansing function that helps to draw out impurities from your skin. You have EMS up, which is the favorite mode that I use, which helps to tighten your skin and lift your muscles. It's like giving your muscles a workout. And there's even a special eye care function and a cooling function. But for this, I recommend this to people who are... I guess slightly older in age that's looking to lift and tighten your skin and this is very very potent. It can feel quite uncomfortable at the start but um, I really love the effects of it. And lastly, Medicube's Booster H. This one is a product that I use almost every single day because it's so light. So it's very easy to just apply because it helps your skincare infuse deeper into your skin so i use these two most often but i like to use this at the earlier stages because i feel that the penetration power of this medicube device is stronger than this or at least it makes me feel like it and obviously out of the three this is also the most affordable so i would recommend this to people with a smaller budget um, that wants to try improving the skincare absorption a little bit more but these two are meant for anti-aging. I also have body care, last but not the least. Um, I got a lot of questions about stretch marks. So I want to recommend this Clarins set that I got. Tonic Treatment Oil is one of like their best sellers that you use together with the Stretch Marks Expert Cream. But this is actually really important. It's the exfoliating body scrub. So you do need to exfoliate your body to ensure that your skin is constantly being kind of stimulated. And in that sense, it's able to expand well, but also go back well. I recommend pairing all three together. That is it for me, guys. 
I know this was a super long video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you found and spotted any of your favorites or if there's a favorite that you want me to try and you let me know in the comments as well. Oh, I'm also doing a best of 2023 makeup video, so do come back for that. I'll see you guys in my next one. See ya!